Okay, uh, I have now here an experiment for you to demonstrate the effect of vacuum space between the inner and outer tubes of a solar collector, vacuum tube uh, solar collector. Here I have two tubes, exactly the same tubes, at the same angle of incidence. And uh, as you can see, one of them, this one, the right one, is broken, and the other one is intact. Uh, you can see here the two tubes. This is the outer tube, which is transparent. This is the inner tube with uh, absorber coating on it. And uh, as it is broken, then there is certainly no vacuum between the two tubes. Here the tubes are intact, and uh, you can see here the support clip, the getter, which is silver colored, which shows that the vacuum is existing there. And um, uh, I want to show you uh, how the temperature between the two will be different. I poured, uh, I filled both of them with water, as you can see here, and put two temperature sensors. Uh, the thermometer here shows the temperature. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the left one, uh, where the tubes are uh, intact, the temperature, water temperature is 81, while uh, for the right one, the temperature is around 64. And if I take the difference, you can see that uh, its battery is low. You can take the difference. Um, so the left one is 80. One degree C and the right one is 64 degree C and you can see that the difference between these two is just the effect of uh, vacuum space between the two so you can see that it is very important just one point I want to mention is that the temperature you can see here is not the temperature which this uh, collector when in operation may produce for you because this um, that just know the fluid or water inside is completely stationary in real case uh, it is flowing so the temperature may be lower but i just wanted to show you the uh, the difference between the two uh, you can see that there's a 17 degree temperature difference between the two just now the temperature outside is around 31 degrees c